I know you when you're a teenager. Why are they just destroying their passports? Go and look for a job. Why are they destroying their passports? Why are they destroying their passports? I tell you to prove it. That's the job. Prove it. I told you. Next time you are coming out, have it with you. Have that proof with you that we can be convinced that what you are talking about is right. Why, why you are, are talking shit. Why are they destroying Get the passports? The fuck. I don't want. You. Don't put your camera in my face. That's no. a public space, my friend. I don't want you to record anything we are doing here because we don't want any stress from you. I'm not going to bring you any you stress. You stress the community. Why? Because of all whatever you be doing in this community, you stress community and you don't let the young generation to live in peace and live together. What have I done? You do a lot of things. You're causing the damage to the beautiful country we are living here. No, I'm highlighting a serious problem in our communities, right? What's your we, problem? We have a concern, right? Yeah. 87% of asylum seekers yeah. arriving into Ireland are destroying their passports, yeah. destroying their documentation. Yeah. We don't know who these people are. Yeah. It's a national security threat. Yeah. We have the right to know who's coming into our country. We yeah. have the right to know who's living beside us. Yeah. That's a concern we have. Yeah. Like, do you not think we should know who's coming into the country? Yeah. The government are doing their job. They are doing their job. And then if there's anything else the government should do to rectify the situation you're on about. No, but do you understand? Listen, let me finish. Oh, go ahead. Don't talk over me. If the government are doing their best to rectify the situation you're on about, right? Destroying passports. Destroying what passports? 87%. Can you have your proof? The Justice Department. Answer my question. The, do you have a proof the, of that destroying passport? The, the Justice Answer Department. Answer my question. I'm, I'm answering your question. The Justice Department have said it themselves. They said themselves. Yeah. Can you prove it to yeah. me? 87% of asylum seekers. Can you prove it? Yeah. My question. I'm, I'm telling you. This is you that go online saying that the government is giving asylum seekers free houses. Yeah. And I want you to prove it. Yeah. And I, look, and I want you to prove it. Where do you see the government of this island giving people a free accommodation and free money, whatever you think they are doing? But one thing I want to tell you, and listen to me carefully, right? You are diluted. You are brainwashing the young generation. You see the black, Indian, Pakistan, white, black, or whatever. They were living in a peace. You see this generation are coming up. They were having a brilliant lifestyle. But why are you coming up? I know you when you are young in this town. You are a teenager. When I come to this town, you are a baby. Where are you but from? I'm in Nigeria and I've been living in this community for 24 years. Mm -hmm. But you are one of the bad eggs, oh, right? Yeah? That destroying the, the young generation that are coming up with your delusion mentality, what you have, you believing on. Why but why, let me tell you one thing. Can I speak Irish people, I, let me I finish, let me finish. Give me one minute. Irish people are in Australia. They're not living in free accommodation. They are in my country, in Nigeria. They are all over the world. I are in Nigeria. Yes, 100%. Right. I met Irish man in my village where I come from. Mm -hmm. And when they see me, it's like they see their brother. We, they accommodate me, we have a drink together, we have fun together. But people like you, yeah. you are giving in Irish people a wrong image because Irish people are lovely people on the planet. Mm. They are everywhere in the world. You're not answering but my we question. Are here. Can, I, can I speak now? Yeah, you, speak. You, okay, you haven't addressed my point. What's 80, your point? 87% of asylum seekers yeah. arriving in Ireland yeah. have no passports, no documentation. Can you prove that? The Justice Department has No, no, that's themselves. not You have to have it with you oh, whenever, okay, wherever well. you're going. You're talking bullshit. I may, I may as well talk that wall there. Yeah, you're talking to yourself because you have no brain. What war is Nigeria? What are you fleeing in Nigeria? Oh, let me tell you the war now. The war in Nigeria, you asked me a question. Yeah. There is a war in Nigeria. There is a Boko Haram existing in Nigeria as I'm talking to you. Let's, let, let me finish, okay, let me finish ahead, the question. Have, you say, what is the war in Nigeria? There is a war in Nigeria right now. There is a lot of kidnapping going on in my country. Is there that, no other places you can go to? Like, why every, do you have to, come to every part of, why do I come to Ireland? Yeah. Why, did Irish people, why did Irish people go to Australia? There's other safe why did Irish people go to Germany? Why did Irish people go to uh, because, uh, Canada? Nah, why did Irish people nah, go to nah, everywhere in the world? Can I speak, can I? You are complete sick. Can I speak now, can I? Right. Nah, there you go. There you go. You are a sick human being. Continue with the job. Whoever sending you this job to do, you're going to meet the wrong people that they will give it to you because you're saying that why the black people are here. Irish people are in everywhere in the world. There's large parts of Nigeria that yeah. are safe. Why do you have to come to Ireland? How many countries? Give, give me, give me, give me the place. Through? Give me exactly, recording for me. Give me exactly place eh, in Nigeria that you talk. Because when you're talking, you have to have your proof and your points you're talking about. Well, you're full of bullshit. I just you're told you. Crap. I just told you. you you're don't talking want, crap. You don't want to Look listen. at people here now. Look at, look at what's going on here. Everybody are happy. Yeah. Without, no, without no immigrant in this country. What? Without no immigrant in this country, economy will never grow. No. Do you know the population of Irish people outside the country? Irish have more than 10 million population of Irish outside the country, right? Did anybody tell them? 
Did anybody tell the Irish people living all over the world the way you carry camera and recording, doing some sick things you are doing up and down? You are a sick human being. I know you when you are a teenager. Why are they just throwing their passports? Go and look for a job. Why are they just throwing their passports? Why are they just throwing their passports? I tell you to prove it. That's the job. Prove it. I told you. Next time you are coming out, have it with you. Have that proof with you that we can be convinced that what you are talking about is right. Why, why you are, are talking shit. Why are they destroying Get the passports? Fuck. What? Why are you waiting for me for? I said hello. Get the fuck. You're not being very nice. You fuck. You're not being very nice. Get a life, life. Hey? Get a life. I'll stand here if I want. Get a life. Why are you waiting for me for? Huh? You sick cunt. Well, that was very nice, man. Lovely language. Lovely language on the streets of Donegal, eh? So here we have the African, Doneg African community Donegal. Patrick's, this is St. Patrick's Day here in Letterkenny, County Donegal. This is uh, Letterkenny, County Donegal, Ireland. St. Patrick's Day, celebrating the saint who came to Ireland. Talking shite. Oh, hey, there's children around. Watch your language. You talking rubbish. There's children around. Watch your language. Hey, there's, la there's children around here. Watch your language. Hello everybody, we are in Letterkenny here at County Donegal. We are at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's just finishing now. Great day out for everybody. All the Irish men, women and children that showed up here. But they now call Letterkenny Letterkenya because Letterkenny is being taken over. It's hard to spot Irish men and Irish women in Letterkenny anymore, unfortunately. That's why we need to get patriots like myself elected to local council. We are campaigning here, handing out uh, election leaflets. You can support my election campaign to put Irish people first, to house Irish people first, to give medical care to the Irish people ahead of anybody else. So I need your support. You can go into nilemcconnell.ie, chip into my election campaign here. I will be doing my best to put Irish people first, to bring our Irish children home, to house the Irish people first, to stop this green agenda scam being forced on Irish farmers. I need your support. I can't do this without you. I'm not getting huge funding like some of the political parties like Sinn Féin, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael. I need your support. Get out there, support me. Chip into my election. Fund everybody. Share these videos with your friends and family. God bless us all. Aaron Gobra.